Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to talk about creating a navigation controller. Um, before I do that, I just want to show you a couple of things in the storyboard here at the bottom. You have this little plus and minus, which is really handy when you get a lot of view controllers in here, a lot of screens, and you can kind of separate them out and look at them a little closer. Um, so remember last time we made the connections, the modal connections, um, to the screen using these buttons here. We're going to get rid of them. Just, you know, if you just highlight the little lines here and hit the delete key on your screen, on your keyboard, um, that gets rid of them. Okay? And so now we don't have any connection between the two. Um, another thing I'll show you, let's zoom in again. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is that right down here you have this little option to toggle between the um, retina screen um, the 3.5 inch right now, or the um, 4 inch, right? So that goes back and forth. Okay. Um, and we'll get into uh, more later about layouts and things, but for right now, I just want you to be aware of that. And so to create a navigation controller, we're going to go to our home screen. It's kind of important you start on there, so just make sure that it's just selected once by clicking on it. And we're going to go into Editor, and then we're going to go Embed In, navigation controller and you pops up this new view controller that is a navigation controller um, and that's what we're going to use uh, to and you also notice that we have this little top part up here um, I'll show you what that looks like in the emulator in a second but that's basically where your navigation uh, happens um, the cool thing about this though is that this is a better memory management for your app when that now we can actually select our coin toss button, hold down the control key, go over, and we can select push, um, which basically pushes this back into memory. We don't actually need this home button anymore because watch what happens. Let's uh, stop the emulator was running in the background. We're going to run it again. Click play, and you notice this. Right here is our navigation control. There's nothing on there. I'll show you how we can add some things. So um, when we hit coin toss, now you notice we have a back button. So we don't even have to use this. It's not doing anything anyway. But we can use the back button here. And it's a much better um, app management there. So let me let me show you a few more things you can do with this navigation controller. Uh, let's stop the emulator. And we're going to come up here. And we can give that a title. We'll say home. Okay. Um, so now you see how home appears there. We can come over here. And if we wanted to change our back button title, we can say we can also have our title here. Coin toss. It actually will let you, so then we wouldn't really need this here. Um, I'm going to leave that there for now. We're going to change that to something else moment in a little bit. Um, we could also create a, a little button on here. If we didn't want to use this button, we can actually, I already have button in on the search thing here, but there's this bar button item, and I can kind of drag this up here, and I'll say coin in there, oh, right? And we can make this, if I click on that, and that'll push right over here as well. Uh, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Let's hit the play button. And let's bring this into the screen. And so you see I have this coin here, which takes me there. Um, and that is uh, back to home, right? So that's all I was going to show you in the navigation controller. But the thing to, to realize is that starting from this home page, wherever you kind of make a link, by default it adds a little nav it adds it to the navigation controller system. Okay? Um, so that's all. For next time we're going to work with some UI images and add images to our screen. Thanks.